Folks, here with today's DWI Wrestling Match, I'm Tommy Grace alongside Anthony Devlin. Anthony, it's nice to be with you. It's a pleasure to be with you. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, everybody joining us at home. And uh, everybody here in the audience at DWI, there's no other place I'd rather be than here right now checking this match out. And this should be a good match. It promises to be. It's uh, TLS Silas versus D'Lo Jordan. Yeah. yeah, these two guys, they're young. They are hungry. They are both wicked talented. They've got all the tools it takes to make it in the wrestling industry today, I believe, personally. As you can see here, a nice bit of chain wrestling to start off this match. Collar and elbow to the headlock, reverse it, and into a headlock for silence. That's a really tight headlock he's got over that side. Headlock so tight, he's like knocking him to his knees. He had to go to the ropes, get that break. Smart of him, too. Instead of trying to exert himself and using any uh, wasted energy, he just utilizes the ropes. Referee trying to get these two back together here in the center of the ring. See Silas here ready to pounce like a cat with the way that he stands. Comes from down there, uses all his leverage. Flies it back to his neck. Again, that is a outstanding side head. Nice forearm to the gut. Silas shot into the ropes here and the shoulder tackle. Oh. Leapfrog ducked the clothesline and a stiff punch of the jaw here. Silas might not be one of these chiseled guys. He might not be one of these guys who spends hours in the gym, but he is deceptively strong. And you know what? He goes to what works, and that's a punch to the face. Look at that. Kicks to the side of the jaw. That just, you can't go wrong with that no matter what you do. Nice. Wrestling, no matter what it is. That kick to the side of the face will work every time. Indeed. That definitely rung his bell. Referee admonishing D'Lo to get back into the ring here. D'Lo's doing the right thing. He's got a 10. He's got the 10 count outside. Instead of rushing back in there, he's got nothing to prove to anybody. Shake the cobwebs out. Utilize every moment that he has. Get D'Lo. back in the game and stay in it, you know? D'Lo back on his feet, trying to come into the ring. Silas comes towards him and he drops back down Very to the Very smart. Eight. He had to break the count. Silas came over, so there you go. On oh, a shoulder into the gut for his trouble coming over there. That uh, athleticism right there of D'Lo. Outstanding athleticism, if I may say so myself. And the insecurity of the back of the head drops Silas. D'Lo should be getting over and covering his man. Not the double thrust kick from TL that you saw earlier, but a couple boots of his own. D'Lo delivers. The combination seems to have the same effect that the double boots had. Now, it looks like D'Lo is going to that brawling style that Silas likes to use himself. The only thing that shows me is that D'Lo seems to be getting frustrated. It's a little early in the match to be getting so frustrated. Oh, getting happen. away from the speed and uh, uh, athletic game that's more his style. Look at that. There you go. Beautiful. Outstanding dropkick. He should be covering his man here again. He should, needs to be a little quicker on these covers. And D'Lo with a choke. Referee telling him to get off. He's giving him the five count here. And again, D'Lo showing that he does have in-ring skills and he knows where he's at. He knows that he's got the five count, utilizing every moment of it. D'Lo looks like he wants to put this match to bed early. He's going up top here. I wonder what he's going to do. And he's coming up the ropes and what in the... Goes straight back into the choke. As unique of a choke as I've ever seen that one. That seems like a lot of wasted energy. Taking a risk, too, getting up there for that. It does. Perhaps if he had come off with a little something, but maybe he felt that Silas had just a little bit too much energy and would be able to get out of that. Threw Silas back down to the canvas with that forearm. And instead of staying on his man, he comes over to jaw jack with the audience. That's something you don't want to do. Silas, the known brawler here from the Bronx. Give him a second, he's back in this. Got to keep him all his... Got to keep him reeling, and you see what happened. Gave him a moment, gave him an in, and he's right back on top of D'Lo. Guys from, you know, the boogie down Bronx. And that's what they do. They get down over there. And you give a guy a moment, you don't stay on him, you don't take him out of the game. He gets back up, you're in trouble. Silas wrapping him up in the ropes there and taking advantage of the situation. The referee is not breaking this. Perhaps he feels these two men should just be allowed to fight. The referee should always be aware, though, that this is 
wrestling. This is not MMA. This is not a street brawl. As much as these guys, their styles, he might want to call for it to become a street brawl, it's still wrestling, and the referee should remember that. He should stay on top of these guys and keep it going as a wrestling match. A hard takedown on the snapmare there and a kick to the side oh. of the face. Utilizing the strong style for sure. And that wonderful elbow drop there. I don't know how much height he had on that, but it looked like he cleared the ropes. That was a wonderful combination. Hey. Dior again here needs to stay on his man. But you gotta, you gotta wonder, you know, what's it gonna take to keep Silas down? He's hitting him with some powerful moves and not being able to get the three count. Now he's bringing his man up again here. He should leave him on the ground. Never bring him, an opponent up who is already on the ground. He's right there where you want him. Sometimes you just think to yourself, I got you, I got you where I want you, and you make a mistake. He seems to be on top of him still, so it's worked out for him. There's a big, strong splash, but Silas is not wanting to go down. Finally, he takes him down and applies the choke in the corner. Those boots, they were effective. They beat him down. He didn't want to go down, he beat him down. And Dilo bringing his man up. And the body slam brings him down again. See, he hurt his back right there. This is going back to what you said. He picks him up out of the corner just to slam him down in the middle, and he hurts his own back in the process. Well, it looks like D'Lo again is trying to put this one to bed here, folks. Goes up, and the swanton misses. Unfortunately, that's what happens sometimes when you go up there. You take it too much time. He hurt himself previously, trying to pick him up for the slam. When he should have just stayed on him when he was in the corner, he goes up to the high rent, the high risk, and he pays for it. Now Silas has got all the time he needs to get up. He's getting up in the corner. D'Lo reeling from what he's done to himself. That looks like Silas has got him in his position for the cannonball. Yes. Oh, no. Cannonball splash to D'Lo. Now he's dragging D'Lo out to the center of the ring. Cover him. Referee gets position one, two, and no, no three count. D'Lo fortunate to be able to kick out from that, the damage he's done to himself. I won't, I won't take anything away from D'Lo. He's got the heart of a champion. Silas again takes him up and drops him with the body slam. Silas with an elbow of his own doesn't get the height that D'Lo does. But he drives that elbow right into the solar plexus, seeming to do a little bit more damage. Not as pretty, but seemingly a lot more effective. Silas has got him dangling on the ropes here. <laughs> Silas taunting Dilo again, showing his inexperience. Those are right in the bread basket. It's hard to wrestle if you can't breathe. It's hard to do anything if you can't breathe. Uh, you and I can definitely attest to that. Silas oh, with the splash. Big forearm. That was a forearm, right forearm to the jaw. He asked for his mommy. Silas calling for her. Oh, it delivers a stomp to the side of the head. That shows the coldness, the, 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 just the mean streak inside. Oh, now you can see there where I tell you, the man's on the ground. You do not want to pick him back oh, up. Right. He gets a rake to the eyes for the trouble. Oh, wonderful reversal, man. Side swam to the side of the head. And this match is over, folks. Your winner, TLS Silence, by pinfall decision. Big three. Either one of these guys could have had that match. It was their inexperience that led to the victory for one man and another's inexperience that led to another's defeat. Well, folks, I'd like to thank you all for joining us here today. Make sure you join us at DWIWrestling.com. That's right. I'm Anthony Devlin. I'm Tommy Grace. Thanks again.